Hey there everyone, it's your friendly neighborhood minifigure here, and welcome back to another LEGO review. Today we are looking at the LEGO Overwatch Reinhardt and Diva set. This set came out in 2019. It has 455 pieces and is currently out for $40. And this is one of two Overwatch sets that I own. I wanted to review this one first because Reinhardt is my favorite character to play in Overwatch and because neither of these characters have their names mentioned in the Albi Tracer TikTok video. Now for our minifigures. First up we have Reinhardt here, as I'm sure all my Overwatch fans know very well. There's the back of him. And then, as many Overwatch fans know, here's D.Va. There's the back of her with a secondary face. One of the reasons I like D.Va is because of her special molded hair piece and because of her pistol piece. Now, here is D.Va's mech, as all my Overwatch fans should know well enough. There's a top view of it. You have you have the ability to move mo both arms here. And of course they have st stud shooters on the end of them. You like Lego fans should know these well enough. And then you can open up this piece here and this piece over here to have a way to put D.Va inside her mech. And on the back here you have a couple of boosters which you can rotate these two back ones here. And you also have a hatch back here, if you want to put D.Va in the video game in accurate way. In fact, I'll show you how to do that. So, here's D.Va. You're going to want to take her legs and put them all the way back. Bring her arms almost all the way up to the front to the top and then in she goes there she is nice and in there and then the legs can be moved around as well <coughs> Now, of course, these legs don't really articulate very well. <clears throat> you can't move them a whole lot without the mech falling over because it's pretty top-heavy. Now, as I'm sure you Overwatch fans have noticed, there's something up with this Reinhardt minifigure here. And the thing is, is that he's too small. Give me a minute. There he is. There's big boy Reinhardt. Move the camera. Let's bring him in for a closer view. There's a side view of his shield generator here. Doesn't actually include a shield build. Would be cool if it did though. There's the back. And then there's the other side. And then here's over then here's his hammer. Now, this Reinhardt here kind of suffers the same issue where <clears throat> where the arms and legs aren't really articulated that well. So you don't get too much play value out of it. You can put Reinhardt into into a bit of a walking pose here, but it doesn't exactly work. Oh yeah, and one last thing I forgot to mention. You can take off 
in our helmet piece here, and it's going to reveal. <clears throat> it's going to reveal just a mask on a flesh head, and the reason for this is. You, you get Reinhardt with a face. As you can see, he's an old man with a white beard and white hair. And then, of course, also for D.Va, you get extra studs in case you're playing and you lose any of them while shooting. And then, all Overwatch sets like that. this one come with the um, Overwatch emblem piece to put on her just as a, a collectible. So again, not too much play value. It's cool as a um, collectible for Overwatch fans, but <clears throat> but there's not but there's not a whole lot of playability in here. <clears throat> Anyways, that was my review of the Lego Overwatch Diva and Reinhardt set. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.